These lockers were put in maybe two or three years ago. A gift from a few past tenants. Probably 30 of my former players make a nice donation. Their appreciation is shown through a plaque. I realized until I looked at it the other day. And the words of Steve Farley. And I need to see his number. One particular alumni. This is number here at Butler, number 17. Who left not only a financial mark on the Bulldog baseball program. Everybody could tell you a Pat Neshek story, I think, that was here at Butler, and they'd all have a smile on their face. During the pitcher's tenure in Indianapolis from 2000 to 2002. Teammates would say he tried to throw every pitch about as hard as he could throw. It worked for Neshek, who struck out a school record 280 batters in three seasons including 18 in one game. But I wouldn't want to be a guy playing catch with Pat because he was just nasty from uh, warm-up pitch number one. Helped us win a conference championship as a freshman. He pitched in the NCAA tournament. as the first guy to raise his hand like, Coach, whatever you need me to do, I, I want to get a W or I want to get a save and I'll go out there and compete. And that's how he was. From a distance, Farley watched him do the same. It means a lot to me to see that picture. Through his winding and sometimes rough road through baseball. The tremendous adversity. Uh, this is, his, I think, his fifth organization. He's age 33. Almost an all-star in 2007, Neshek lost a year and a half to injury while in Minnesota. And he had Tommy John surgery. It was on his fourth stop. Pat with the Oakland A's. Farley saw him tested the most. You've probably heard about the tremendous personal family tragedy he had. A young son is born. The son passed away within 24 hours of being born. That was 2012. He picture Pat. And two years the, later, he had to fight his way onto the Cardinals roster after receiving just a minor league contract. No guarantees this year. I think if you would ask him or General Man or Matheny with the Cardinals, I think those guys would have been shocked to see where he is right now. After a 4-0 record and .7 ERA as a setup man in St. Louis, that helped him to his first All-Star appearance, not far from where he grew up in Minnesota. I couldn't believe it, you know, because it meant a lot to me a few years back to, to maybe make it and know how close you were and then to go through the Tommy John and stuff. Yet rewarding. He basically wore the same number as Pat Nisha. For those who saw the road to the Midsummer Classic in Minneapolis, begin in Indianapolis. What he's done, I mean, he kind of put us on the map, and now sitting here watching this guy play uh, in the Major League All-Star game is, is unbelievable.